Some say that I am sexy But there's much more to me I may be from a small town But they never stop me No, I can't fit in your shoes I have the privilege and the honor of sitting down with Kevin Dorsey, the one and only Kevin Dorsey. Not to mention that we're both from Akron, Ohio. Yes, born and raised. And there are some wonderful, wonderful things that are going to come towards Akron. So we keep a lookout on Akron, Ohio. Check this interview out, guys. You've done some amazing things, not only amazing, but you've touched some of the artists, amazing legends that I've all, I've watched all my life. So, yeah. you know, to actually be in the studio with someone with your expertise, and with everything that you have to offer, it's like a God-planned, a God-breathed idea. So I'm so excited. I've always used music as a safety shield. Yes. Yeah. That no matter what's going on, I always have a place to hide. Absolutely. Even if it's yeah. within me, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. or hiding behind a piano, hiding yeah. behind a guitar. Yeah. You know, and most people, they don't understand that. No. I mean, that's, you and I have a, a great thing in common. 24-7 we hear music. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, it can be an old song, mm -hmm. a new song. Mainly, for me, it's always a song that is yet to be created. Yes. Or at least a melody mm -hmm. that I have yet to use. Right. And I am just so excited where music is going right now. You yes. know, to where, you know, we got to a place to where... Um, you know, the melodic flow just, you know, took over for a little mm -hmm. while and it was beautiful. And, um, but I, I believe that we're getting back to a place to where not only do we want to have feel good music, mm -hmm. but we want to know what's going on. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Like how Marvin Gaye, you know, how they demonstrated the times mm -hmm. in their music. And I yes. think that's where we're coming back to. And is music going to have an identity? Yeah. Yeah. You know, where we can say, I know. That's the sound of that artist. This is the exactly. sound of that artist. Not, you know, if I close my eyes, everyone sounds it's just exactly. alike. Yeah. You know? yeah. And uh, that's reaching back in the history of music yes. and taking from the body of those amazing songs. Not, and I'm not speaking of plagiarism mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. of this yeah. nature. Yeah. But just taking the feel mm -hmm. and everything that went into that music and say, right. you know, I can do that today mm -hmm. and get that same amazing beauty right. and create that song. If music today lacks one thing, for me, mm -hmm. my humble opinion, yeah. it's no longer timeless. Yeah. That's one thing That's the old school songs mm -hmm. have. Yeah. Timeless. That's right. Because they sound good now. Yep. And they're 50, 60, 70 years right, old. Right, right. And yeah. they sound great right now during 2022. Music is so embodied within myself that mm -hmm. it's like hard to explain. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you get someone in the room mm -hmm. that can understand your music language. No matter Whew. what type of example you give. Yes. Because Michael couldn't play anything. Yeah. But, but he was the embodiment, embodiment yes. of music. Yes. And this is what you have um, even given to me within this week, you know, mm -hmm. is, is the, the girl. Yeah. And I, I'm so yeah. appreciative to that. Oh, my yeah. God. I love Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, don't forget to check me out on all social media platforms. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and TikTok. <laughs> it's Tiffany Bino. I'm Tiffany Bino. Follow me there.